What's up, YouTube? We are going to take care of this bumper. I'd also like to do something with these. They're more gray than anything. And, uh, why is this a thing on every single Jeep? It's a thing. So, we gotta do that. It's really starting to get cold here where I live. Man. It's cooling right down. It's raining a lot. Good lord. Look at this Jeep. Man, shiny. My weapon of choice, this Metabo with some cheap Harbor Freight wire wheels. These things work amazing. We're going to try to get as much of that rust off there as we can and paint this black. It's going to change the whole front of that Jeep. So get a look at it now. See what it looks like in a minute. Now I pulled the tape, I left the tape on the grill because I wanted to do this first just to see, you know, how does it look? Do I need to do the corners? I probably do. I've got some trim restore in the house. I'm gonna go get some. And we're gonna see what it does to this gray trim. <music> I'm guessing it's supposed to have like a dark charcoal gray trim on the sides, which cool enough. I think I want that black. Now that I put that oily crap on here, I'm gonna have to put some paint thinner on it to degrease it. But as far as the corners though, on that black trim, it looks good. I mean, it really brings it back to life, but how long does it last? You know what I mean? Does it actually keep it shiny like that or does it wear off in three, four days and look like crap. I mean, that don't look bad. It looks like a new plastic. The Jeep actually will shine up nice. I don't know why the, the hood is so, the hood needs a good buffing. But as far as, you know, look at the front fairing, the fenders, how dark they are compared to the hood. So I think if we wipe that hood down with something real good, we'll make that dark again shine again and all that good stuff and i don't know what 15 minutes we've already done that to the front of the jeep that's sellable you know what i mean so that's all we're really going for um i'm not gonna end up painting that voila yeah that's totally sellable look at this one with that gray fender flare look at this one yeah, definitely restores it, makes it look good again. Wait a minute. Look at all this. The birds are playing freaking target practice with my Jeep. Look at this windshield, it's covered. 
I've already cleaned up two spots there. There's a spot there, spot there. I got spots up front over here. Man, they were aiming for my windshield or something. I swear, sometimes I go outside and one of my cars will be completely covered in bird crap. Like they pick my cars and then run target practice like the shit Olympics for birds. Look at this thing. That's annoying. This thing was clean. I'm trying to get this hood cleaned up so that I can put some glaze on there or some scratch remover. Anything to make that hood shine a little more. I want it to match the front there. So it's getting late. I got to try to be quiet so there are only a couple things I can do. But uh, yeah, moving forward. We got to get this thing posted tomorrow. Make our money and run. The hood is not clean by any means. I think these Jeeps, they just run hot as heck. And the, the paint just tends to split. I don't know. But if you come back, the hood doesn't look gray anymore. So, there. Now we've got 30 minutes of work into it. Check out the front end. That's all it takes right there. I could sell it just like that and make a thousand bucks with what I got it for. You know? All right, guys, that's about all I can do tonight. Um, I gotta work on the back, so it's a wrap. This front trim is starting to look really good, actually. I'm gonna show that to you tomorrow morning. And once it dries, it just, it's crazy. So, it's late, it's getting dark, I'm getting loud. Let's wrap it up. <music> Good morning. Turned out to be a nice day, actually. Look at this trim. Like, it's not even shiny, it just brought it back to black. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what it did, but it brought it back. I thought it was like, you know, Armor All just makes it shiny, you know what I mean? I'm debating if I want to do anything to this rear bumper. I don't think I really have to. It looked. I thought it looked worse. Maybe I'm thinking about the blue Jeep's rear bumper. But, you know, this one's got 178K. We're gonna clean up these back trims, give it a bath because it's dirty as heck. Basically just getting this thing ready to sell so we can get on to the bigger jobs. So, here we go. stuff is weird you got to kind of use a lot of it and if you don't put it on really evenly it leaves these lines and you can't get rid of them it's almost like if you put a glob here 
and then start working around it, that glob spot will be really black or darker. And then, you know what I mean? You gotta rub it on real evenly. Otherwise you get lines. I don't know what it does to that trim, but it does something. And then I just did a second coat on this. It's even darker. So you can see the trim is a dark gray like it's supposed to be. The back bumper covers is looking good. I already did half this side. You can see what I've done, what I haven't done. So I've got two more pieces to do on this side. Then we're gonna wrap that up. I'm gonna clean up this area here and I'm gonna try to spot check it and just, you know, it's always gonna be there. You know what I mean? It's, it is what it is. So we might as well try to make it look better for the moment, you know what I mean? That's the uh, two times coverage satin canyon black. It just matches everything, you know? It looks better than it did. So, that's all it is. It's not a big old yellow rust spot looking you in the eye. So, it makes that quarter look better. The Jeep is really dirty, so I wanna get this done here, and then uh, we're gonna wash this thing. Just look at the back half of the Jeep compared to the front half right now. Just look at it. Really changes things, don't it? I cannot get over this front bumper, I can get out of the sunlight. It's not even shiny, it's literally just, it brought it back to like a brand new charcoal. Crazy, crazy man. <laughs> around this hopefully you can remember what it looked like in the beginning of the video which in my opinion wasn't bad anyway so we got the front end looking good trim black dark gray trims gray it's getting there all right I'm gonna let that trim cleaner dry a little bit before I wash it I don't know you know what I mean what water will do to it if it's gonna mess it up or not. So I'm gonna let that sit for 10, 15 minutes. Then we'll wash it, and we'll get it cleaned up. We'll get some pictures of it. died but it's clean dried it all off you can see got rid of that little bit of a rust spot there made it look good the trim looks amazing Jeep signed up nice the hood matches again that was a uh, off black almost it was like a dark gray so we got that got the front looking good and this is how you know you can double the value of your car for free it just takes a little bit of elbow grease and you can really make a car look different you don't have to buy them completely broken like I do um, you know I bought this one it was just dirty needed some love picked it up for 1300 I actually just went and took pictures of it it's posted now for 2800 whether or not I get 2800 who knows but I know I'm gonna make money you know what I mean um, so, and you know, 
Britt's about to get in here. She wants to vacuum and clean it. I don't even really think it needs it. The thing looks nice. You know, it's clean. The guy kept a nice clean car. You could tell he wasn't a scrub, you know. It's not all beat up and nasty. But literally, you know, you saw what we did. We cleaned up the trim. We cleaned up the wheels with that uh, McGuire's hot rims. That stuff cleans rubber like you wouldn't believe. It makes tires look brand new. Um, that trim restore, that's McGuire's. And act I actually like what it did. It made those fender well flares just look nice and dark again. Um, the bumper looks new. Just looks good. Um, we used turtle wax scratch remover and polish on the hood last night. So that really, that changed it right there. Um, yeah, that's, that's all you got to do. You don't have to do much. You just got to make it look better than when you got it, you know. I like finding them like this. I like... When they run good, they don't need anything. They just need a good cleaning. That's a good payday right there. We'll make we'll make at least a thousand dollars for what we did in this video, you know. And if you want to do that too, um, just you know, hit subscribe. You know, this is what we do every day. We take things, make them look a lot better for the least amount possible, and uh, definitely doubled the value of this Jeep for sure just by cleaning it. So, it's posted. I'm gonna move on to better things. We're gonna get to that transfer case out there and uh, get that truck ready to sell. Let's hope by next video, this is gone, we made our money, and I have a price reveal for you. Um, thanks for watching, man. If you wanna see more, just hit subscribe, ring the bell. We're doing this all the time. We're, we're making a lot of money. If you wanna go back and look at the older videos, we're definitely making good money doing this. And if you want a side income or a side hustle, this is definitely one to get into. Even if you're not a mechanic, you could have bought this Jeep right here and with a little homework, know what it's worth, clean it, make money. You know, I worked, I made $22 an hour and I still only brought home 700 something a week. We're gonna make $1,000, you know, overnight. So that's how I do it. If you like what you saw, remember to hit the like button. Appreciate your comments. What's up to all the new subscribers? Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.